next number, I'd like to return to the to the to the classic. Y'all ready for 2007? It's now another drought. Everybody's a killer. Wow, you bugging out. Just 86 showing the crowd what I'm about. And they still want to know when the album coming out. At the teenagers, OGs, and ask the kids what the definition of classic is. Timeless, so age don't count in the booth. DJ K Money. Kimani is my official name. That's the name Uhuru calls me by. Albert Kimani. Johnny, I'd say, is my alter ego, which came about as a, for, uh, as a result of uh, playing in the popular TV show on Citizen TV, Tahiti High. I've done it for the last, the last eight years. Uh, it has become an, ident an, an identity. Yeah. So now, sometimes I even forget I'm Kimani, I'm Albert, because uh, so many people are so used to calling me Johnny. Like, Johnny, eh? Hey, DJ Kimani. Nyaji. Yeah, so I've, I've found a way of marrying them and coming up with a, with a complete package. My, my, my DJing journey started in 2009 after Pal in the hood got himself a pair of uh, CDJ 1000s. Yeah? So when I used to go to his crib to chill, I could see him mixing records, uh, playing tracks. So I got, I got really interested. Uh, what is this you're doing? Can you teach me? So I started learning up to up to 2010, mid 2010, when I got my first job at a club in uh, in Druiru. That's when I started. I started ex uh, meeting popular DJs. And that's how my art, my 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 journey into into this fabulous world of DJing started. I, I did not enroll myself to to any official DJ school because I felt what he was teaching me because he was previously from a DJ school, I think, Soul Sounds, I think, uh, he was well equipped. So what I was learning from him was uh, like me being in a class, yeah? So I, I specialized on that. Once I knew the basics, that's queuing, uh, pitch bending, I thought the rest is for me to do my research because he told me Kim mtakufunza ku DJ but sitakufunza mziki yeah you can't be taught how to play music yeah uh, I personally have nothing against DJ 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 academies per se uh, what I have against is uh, the half baked DJs that are coming out of the academies you get like uh, I've had experiences of a guy when I'm in the booth, uh, a guy comes and says, "Hey, Kimani, give me, let me, let me do something." Hey, I'm from Homeboys. I'm from this and this DJ school. So in my mind, I'm like, "Ah, oh, this guy has mad skills, yeah." So when you give him uh, the first five minutes, you're like, "Hi, no only in the really. I'm a, w w I'm a, w did you go to school uh, for association, or you really went to to learn the the skill?" Personally, I have nothing wrong. I have nothing against uh, DJing schools because eh, if we put across that argument, there would be no universities because they will say once uh, a bunch of uh, professors graduate, they are being talked about. We're supposed to be to close all the university, yeah? but now you see like a thousand people enrolling for Bachelor of Commerce year in year out. It's how you define yourself. Is how you you package what you've learned. Because in the same class, in the in the BCom class, you'll get a, a student scoring an A. There's a, there's another one who's called uh, score D. It all depends on what, what's your motivation, yeah. So in a nutshell, I have I have nothing against DJing DJ DJing schools, eh? but I'd really love a, a situation whereby they'd stick to the to the syllabus, as in they have somebody who's been there in the uh, in the game for long. They, they come up with a comprehensive syllabus. Ndiyo wache ku kuhibisha industry. Competitions, I, I always say in, in, in everything that you do, you, you have to, competition is a, is a motivation. Because you'll find that so many people are really working hard 
knowing that at the end of it, uh, uh, at some point next year or the year after there's going to be a competition so you'll find in the industry even now, now guys are starting to the skills are the skill level is going up because uh, they know there'll be a competition somewhere and i'm gonna give it my all because i need to i need to win a situation where there is no competition comp whereby competition is only money you'll find that uh, even the dj standards in kenya will go low because everybody's in a comfort zone i go uh, blend uh, six feet down I blend this and that and the crowd is happy so you, you 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 get to a comfort zone but now competition keeps you on toes where you got to be you know because you know utaki kwenda pale kujibisha you have to bring your a game yeah like i can tell you for sure since last year guys have been practicing guys have invested in dj gear so that when it comes to pioneer convention i want my name to to stick i want i want i want when people are having a conversation about who's the illest DJ in Kenya. I want my name to come up. Yeah, so competition have a way of, it's, it's good motivation, I'd say. Kenya generally, DJing industry as a whole in Kenya, I think people need to invest more in research. Cause uh, doing rounds in town, let's say Total Eclipse was to come to Kenya, uh, he would not have so many nice things to to say about us because uh, we've gotten to a point whereby music is all about blending and entertaining the crowd but now there's that real art of of djing and uh, that art you know you know djing and hip-hop are synonymous like djing uh, there's graffiti and, and that art needs uh, there's a lot that needs to a, a lot needs to be researched about here yeah? like when you come to beat breaking beat juggling because so many people think uh, since i can move this record to where it started the same way once they get comfortable in doing that they believe ah me i'm a turntablist yeah you know but it's all about being able to to marry all those elements in djing beat breaking nini all, all the scratches the different scratches there is there's uh, the twiddle the the crab the stab the chop the transformer but so many people st stick on one on one skill yeah the, 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 depending on who taught you and if you thought who taught you was uh, was your god you see you're going to follow them but once you follow them and then realize Eh, uh, ah, yeah. Kumbe, this guy has been going this way. Kumbe, there is another way. That's how I st that's how I started practicing my my chap scratch. Cause Kitambo used to do scribo scribo. Cause that's what I found in the industry anyway. But, but since I started doing my research, I was like, ah, this scratch sequence is interesting. I need to, I need to learn. I got acquainted to Total Eclipse. Ah, this art is fabulous. I need to, I need to learn. Yeah. So Kenya people really need to do their research. I wouldn't per se use the word overrated because as I said earlier, it all depends on how you package yourself. Because DJing is so many elements. One of them is being able to entertain a crowd. The other one is the skill level. You'll find an, a DJ who you might say is overrated, controlling like 10,000 crowds, uh, 10,000 people, sorry, at at one instance. Eh? And then you find the DJ, I'd say, is should be rated where uh, the other was, eh? is doing all, all the right things, but is not blending. With the crowd, you see that that's a disconnect with the with the with the skill we are with the skill we are pushing. I wouldn't want to really indulge and 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 pick names on who is the best, who is the under, who is the most underrated. I listen, I listen to everybody, and I pick because everybody has their uniqueness. I'd listen to DJ Adrian, I'd listen to DJ Jun Falme, I listen to Godo the Rock Guru, because I believe every DJ is has their own package and there is a lot I can learn from what they do so per se rating uh, it all depends on how you it's uh, rating is how you sell yourself so what you might say somebody is underrated but he has really done his homework on packaging himself and selling himself to to the public uh, I'd start to I'd start with the Jom Falme, because uh, I remember back in 2000 and 2011 when when I got my 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 PC, he kept on pushing me. Hey, Kimani, go. Hey, my book is on a CD. Go buy, you know, buy, nini, a proper laptop. I'm gonna give you music. 
So the ah, superstar DJ is there, he's just pulling my leg. So and actually got my laptop when I'm in town. Hey, John me finally got a laptop. Eh. Could you hook me up with music as you had promised? Eh, come, Rono House, eh, 19th floor. And he 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 sent he copied Mfalme music to my to my hard up to date. I, I still have his uh, some of his drops, and to me that was a very selfless act. I really because he told me why should I not give you music? I'm not the one who has sung that music. It's it's what you do with the music, yeah. So to me. Uh, Joe Mfalme, I've, I think I'd, I have so many things, so many good things to to, to, to talk about him. Uh, another DJ I'd, I'd, I'd really is, is worth mentioning, especially when it comes to the skill level, who I really look up to, who taught me a few of the things I, I play around with is uh, Roy Mwaniki, DJ Mr. Spin. When he used to have a, a DJ school in Kaha Sukari, the one who actually introduced introduced me to the art of juggling, beat breaking. So that's another DJ worth mentioning in my small wall of fame. Uh, undercutting and uh, undercutting is the is the major is the major challenge uh, is the major challenge because uh, the industry is becoming flooded because there is no there is no barrier to entry yeah you get like I, I could quote for a gig i quote x amount of money and uh you find another kid who's from form four using virtual dj maybe has gone to to an academy learned a few a few things when i'm charging x amount of money is going to x minus 20 and a crate of beer so you see in the in the club owner is all about saving his money yeah why would i pay you fifty thousand to sit, play the same same music that uh, this guy is playing for 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 a lesser amount, yeah. Because even the club owners do really do not know the worth of a DJ. To them, they're like, ah, si yana kujetu kujaza muziki like him. So they they do not really know the investments we make. Mm, it's all about uh, 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 what what really defines worth uh, from a third party's perspective is how you stick to your to your guns like you say uh, i'll charge x amount of money for this gig you pay me 70 percent uh, prior and on arrival you give me you clear the balance but now nowadays you find uh, how, how much okay x uh, ah, you don't worry we'll negotiate and then in the process you find you you've been ripped off but once you stand even i remember when I was, uh, there's a wedding i did they didn't they, they hadn't paid the full amount so the 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 the, the, the bridal party is coming dancing they expect music so everybody was, and, and everybody knew me in the event and like hey, johnny mziki mziki I, mean, me, you want, I had a contract so i kept on calling the best man where uh, there's this clause we had written on arrival uh, before the function you're supposed to to pay me and I actually switched off my music I had done sound check killer kitu when they because uh, I, I was waiting for them to pay they had to changa money to pay to pay me the remaining money but if I had continued uh, I gave in to pressure CO 25 G's in a potato evil just like that so you have to learn to stick to your guns and There is very little we can do uh, in regards to people talking about other DJs. The, in, a, in any industry, people will always, people will always say, no, you can't be loved 100%. So I think we ought to, my, my feeling is, eh, uh, we ought to to be more united, like a, like a franchise of some sort. Like, you see, like uh, Tomorrowland, how they, they organize, because they say, you go do, you have a million fans. Kimani have a million fans. Uh, this other guy has a million fans. Why don't we come together and uh, you bring your one million, you bring your one million and then we, 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 st we, we, start, we, we start that way. Because eh? I'm, I'm looking at a situation whereby like uh, you go do you're heading a, a whole unit yeah? and, uh, and uh, a name we can, we can agree after, afterwards. Eh? We say now we have, these are the gigs for the year. Where Kimani you're going to play in Mombasa, uh, he's going to play in Nakuru, and all that revenue is coming to the, to the same table. So when the cake is on the table, we, we cut everybody according to, to his uh, contribution. I think that, that to avoid that undercutting, if we have like, uh, like five franchises, 
now those franchises are competing against against each other who is going to secure more more business than the other franchise yeah instead of individual individuals going after after biashara no dj is uh, dj supplements because I, I i have a i have an i have a day job when i was started when i was starting i started with the uh, started with clubs but then it got it got overwhelming because uh, friday saturday and then you expected to go somewhere on monday so it became became i i, be, I started burning out so i decided I, I decided to repackage myself with the, with the few funds i had in the club in the clubs yeah these are the people i started pitching for proposals i sending them proposals i also do corporates i also do weddings I, there there are so many things i do on top of djing being a passion because before sometimes before i sleep when i look at my machines i have to do i have to do i have to do something and then sleep yeah so most of my money is, uh, in the djing field is coming from a uh, small uh, chiniyamaji events yeah like you do two events in a month and you like this is this is not bad not fatiguing not is not interfering with my with my other my my, my day job my ideal dj said I've, i've been using a uh, cdjs for the longest time ever but i find them limiting because of the of the videos i expose myself to to the to the pioneers of the art of and I've, 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 i'm i'm planning to get myself techniques because there, there's so many I, i got an opportunity of using some last month and i could tell there's a there's a difference in in, in the way i scratch compared to to a pioneer so for me i'm i'm going for i'm going do they call it is it manual this is digital i think i'm uh, that's that's the direction i'm heading based on what i've exposed myself to and what i've heard people like akina dj mr spin say ditch these ones get this one so you're going to see the difference if you don't see the difference uh, come let's let's quarrel over that i i really admire sometimes software DJs because uh, that's some level of creativity. Kitambo used to do I used to sit for like two hours trying to to come up with a mix on on acid. Uh, let me specifically talk about acid there. Yeah? Uh, and takes too much of your time and seeing a software DJ actually making money out of uh, such such a such an undertaking is quite rewarding and then gives them a platform to be creative not that, not that as we use uh, nini we, we're not creative but it gives me a challenge let me whatever nani is doing let me try also and and uh, apply it in, in in real time but i i have i have respect for them because uh, in the art there there are many there are many tributaries to to this river there are those who will go the software way there are those it all depends on how you as i said how you package yourself and how you how you market yourself I think I'd start with the uh, Jom Falme. I'd also have to mention uh I also have to mention uh one of my closest allies and I've, uh, I like I like the growth is uh, the, the, the plateau is going through DJ Creeper. Um DJ KD for the art. DJ Mr Spin and Kim Kim. Yeah, Nick D. Nick D keeps me glued to to my yeah and also go do you yourself as well because uh, sometimes they are, they are, they are, rock has never been my 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 cup of tea but there there the, there's a way you blend I'm like eh na sina hizi ngoma so sometimes I'm always on Shazam meko tu hapo and then afterwards I go I go download there but say in in generally speaking even uh, life uh, life itself and say patience patience is key rushing to to do things motivated by 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 fame and money it will end up it will end you up being being frustrated so i think know know what your goals are what do what do you want to be where do you want to be in the next five years yeah it's not necessarily what people you should not be worried about what people talk about you is you should be your own competition when you look at yourself in the mirror what do you tell yourself i think that's 
that's really what matters and then couple it with the humility and patience patience is uh, is key to to everything yeah because you want to start and then in the next one year you want to be to be like a to be like John Falme making all that money. No, it takes it takes it takes time. Know what you want first. Identify your goals, objectives, and then work work towards that. Yeah, this is DJ K Money, aka Mr K Money Mgatuzi. Follow me on Twitter at Mr Mgatuzi. Also on Facebook at DJ K Money Mgatuzi. Also like my page Johnny Tahidi Hai, aka DJ K Money Mgatuzi. On Instagram at K Money Mgatuzi. Your flow stays a mur 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 murs in the fountain of you. Ain't no doubt in the truth. I'm off the beat. Everybody co sign it, even though I'm believing. Since I came to the door, we came one of y'all's leaders. In the fresh pair, Air Force One sneakers. Uptowns, we call them uppies when they on divas. Probably one with KRS one teachers. Nars, made you look before the heaters. I bet your car had them all when he walked with Jesus. These are classic. classic. Live straight classic. Uh, uh, classic. 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 I'm better than I ever been. Times. Times. You never been embedded in that ever been classic. Live, live, straight classic. I'm better than I ever been. Like that, and now we do it like this. Big L, rest of the big beast.